Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from TCheckIt.com here with an After Effects tutorial on Monday or maybe Tuesday. I'm not quite sure when this is going to be released. I don't know my schedule. Everything always changes. But anyway, guys, uh, welcome to this tutorial. I'm actually pretty excited to show you guys what's going on. I'm just going to drag these files over here. Basically, what we're learning today is how to create these little shock waves in trap code form. I'm including, you know, a whole pack here of uh, blue, white, and just different colors. Also, I'm including the Shockwave project all in a nice little bundle at checkit.com slash download. So go there, download it, it's free. We're using Trap Code Form. They are paid plugins, so if you don't have those, that's why I included these files because we're gonna be learning how to do this intro next week. Holy crap, I forgot that I had the music on. That was really loud. Okay, so now it's muted. We're gonna be learning how to do this uh, this Friday so make sure you give the video a like and subscribe and leave a comment because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video and we work so hard on these tutorials so just make sure that you show us some love I mean come on I'm giving away all this stuff for free <laughs> so yeah you guys have been asking how to do all this stuff but I'm slowly building up to it because I know if I threw it all at you you guys would be like uh oh, my penis got stuck in the ceiling fan so that's why I'm easing you guys into this so anyway <laughs> I guess now we can get to the tutorial let me just move this stuff back over and let's get to the video so I'm just gonna go down here and open up after effects and holy crud guys Brandon made this new background and the new intro thing pretty awesome I'm gonna miss Shravit Sood's version of our to check it intro but uh, Brandon worked so hard on this that you know his is blue mine's green I mean I had to use it it's awesome it's epic I redesigned my whole desktop I mean it's much more simple now I don't have rain meter anymore. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I'm 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 moving on, guys. Goodness gracious. <laughs> so, anyways, I don't know why After Effects is taking this long to open. It never takes this long. I think it's because I forcefully quit out of it before this. That's that's weird. But anyway, guys, first thing we want to do is make a new project. If you guys didn't do that, you can go up to new new project if you guys already had it open. But anyway. Uh, let's just get started. So let's create a new composition by clicking this new button down here and I'm gonna be using 1080p actually let's go with 720p because I'm already including a 1080p project so let's go 1280 by 720 and that'll make it full HD let's just make this however long you want to make the intro it doesn't matter 8 seconds is fine 29.97 okay and last week we created a shake here, I'll just open this up quick. We created a nice uh, shake intro within Cinema 4D, so I'm just going to go grab that quick. That's right here. This is exactly what we made last week, so I'm going to click and drag it. No, all you guys are probably going to be wondering what this is right here. I'm just going to open this quick. <laughs> I laughed so hard at that. Oh, it's so freaking funny. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so now we have our shake.move. Let's just drag that down to this blank canvas area and just scale it halfway down. I'm holding shift just so it's nice and in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. And this is what we made last week in Cinema 4D. So if you missed that tutorial, you know, go watch it. I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. Let's actually go to the blending modes here by hitting F4 and going to screen. Once we have that set to screen, we can just turn it off. And that just uh, made it so we could see the background and everything like that. But I just wanted to bring this in so that you guys can have a reference file to see your nice explosion of particles in the back. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> now we can actually get to the actual tutorial. So let's hit Control or Command Y to create a new blank solid. And we'll just call this trap code you can name it whatever you want okay now let's go find trap code form which is under your trap code suite over here and here's the form I'm just gonna click and drag that under our trap code layer and now if you guys have form here's what you're gonna want to do let's actually just set this to fit so it's not annoying alright so we're gonna start with the base form here and we want to select sphere layered Then we're gonna set all of these down to zero Except for size. Size can be at 200 because if you have nothing in anywhere else, it won't. Anyway, I don't have to get into the scientific reasons. For right now, let's just get this nice animation started. So, we want to keyframe both of the sizes here. And uh, you do that by clicking these little stopwatches after you drag to the front. You know, this is where your timeline is. So then let's drag forward and let's just go to about hmm, 215 should be just fine. There we go. And we're just going to increase the size and making sure these are selected here. We're just going to increase the size to, uh, let's see, how about 10,000? Yeah. 
And then also for size Y, 10,000. There we go. And now you'll see that we have this nice animation that starts small and then explodes. Pretty simple and straightforward. All right, next we want to change the particles in X to 200 and the particles in Y as well to 200. And the sphere layers, I like keeping it at 2. You guys can keep it at whatever you want. I'm not the boss of you. Do what you freaking want. Goodness gracious. All right, so now we're done with the base form. And uh, we have this nice, simple animation. So the next thing we want to mess with is the particles. And the particle type is all up to you. I always just choose glow sphere because I can. And uh, amp up the sphere feather a little bit. You guys don't have to do that. You guys can keep it at sphere if you guys are worried about you know processing time and such. Size, we're going to amp that up to 2. All right. Then opacity, we're just going to drag down a little bit and then turn up the opacity random just so we get more of a variation in this. And uh, remember, this is all up to you guys. I'm, I'm really not the boss of you. I can't stress that enough. All right, so for quick maps, uh, for the opacity, we'll want to leave it. But if you guys want a quicker animation, you know, you, you guys want your explosion to happen fast and then fade out fast, you can always click the second one right here. And it might be hidden behind this, so you guys have to drag this out. But anyway, if you want to click that, but I like my sphere staying in the whole time. And color map, this is where things get really interesting. I like to click radial and then drag down the color map here. And uh, I, I'm just going to select this one because it's already pre-made and it already looks really good. This is what I use for the purple preset in the presets that I'm including with this tutorial. You guys can use whatever you want. You guys can always go into these individual colors and change them up if you want. But uh, since it's nice and simple, I'm just going to click this and move on just for the sake of the tutorial. All right, so next we want to go down to the fractal field. This is where it, your imagination really comes into play. You can always, you know, amp up the dispersion here. You can always mess with all these, but messing with the dispersion usually looks pretty good. And from there, it's really up to you. You guys can go to disperse and twist if you want. You can mess with this until, you know, you get what you want. I mean, really, it's it's only limited by your imagination, you know? So, yeah, with that, if I hit zero, it'll pre-render and we could see exactly what we created. All right, so I let it pre-render and you will notice that we have something weird going on here. The particles go on the sides and that's because we messed with the twist here. And uh, if you want to put this down, I'd put it to about 0.5 because you still want a little bit of a twist in it or else it just looks, you know, too circular. So 0.5 is really, really good in this aspect and it doesn't get that weird twisting on the edges. So now I also notice that these go way too long. You know, they stay on the screen forever. So what we want to do is we want to hit T with uh, the trap code layer selected. And we want to go to the end of the animation, which would be maybe about here where they're still pretty close together. We're going to hit the stopwatch for the opacity. We're going to go forward until we want it to end. We want it to end a little bit before three seconds and we could put that down to zero. Now, to save time, really, and uh, to make all these individual files smaller, I made it only three seconds. So if you want to make all yours three seconds, you can. I gave you guys that room with this eight second project. If you want, I'm going to save this and you know give it to you. But if you guys want to shorten it, just drag the composition in to about three seconds, right click and go trim comp to work area, and you guys can fix that. But you know, I'm, I'm doing this for general public. There we go, perfect. And now our project will fade out and we can literally put this in with anything as long as we set it to screen afterwards when we put it in new projects. But that is for a different tutorial. All right. So the last thing we want to do to our nice little explosion here is we want to put in a glow. So let's type in glow in our search menu over here and we're just going to grab stylized glow. You guys can always use star glow or anything else if you want any third party plugins, but I'm assuming all you guys bought was trap code form. We're also going to go over to the project and we're going to click on this 8BPC and we're going to go over here. This is the bits per channel. We're just going to go to the depth and we're going to turn it up to 32 because glows look a million times better when you turn it up to 32 bits. All right. And we're just going to turn up the radius, turn down the opacity, maybe turn up the threshold a little bit just so it's not too crazy intense. There we go. And look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing because it opens up and then it just reveals this beautiful animation we created. All right. So with that, guys, we are now done. That was pretty easy, right? <laughs>
<laughs> I told you. So I'm going to save this quick. I'm going to click Control Shift S. And I already have this Check It Shockwave project here. I'm just going to name this Check It Project 720p. For all you guys that, you know, this might be too intense for you. I'm going to hit save. And now uh, I would click render. I, I guess I could show you that quick because this was a pretty simple tutorial. I'm going to go up to composition. Add to render queue. I'm going to click on this lossless layer here. We're going to go up to AVI. We're going to change that to QuickTime. And we're going to go to the format options. And just make sure that it's on H.264 for the video codec. And that the quality is at 100. Okay. Okay. And just hit render. But I've already rendered this. And if you guys want to check on your project here, just drag the shake layer on top and you can always uh, check it out. I mean, it looks pretty awesome. So if we click and drag this uh, trap code form file back, it'll be, let's see, click that some more where it stops right about there and then it would explode and then this would pop up in the background and explode with it. So do you see how that would look pretty awesome? I mean, I'm going to teach you guys in detail how I did all this on Friday. So stay tuned for that tutorial. And with that, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you learned something today. Uh, this was just a quick facts video, and a lot of people wanted to learn how those shockwaves are made. And I just wanted to provide a tutorial on how to do this because a lot of people keep secrets in our field of work it's very strange to me to me and brandon we like to share our knowledge with you guys but a lot of people like to keep secrets and such but anyways with that guys i will see you guys later don't forget to leave a like because it helps out so much also don't forget to leave a comment because i leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video and with that i will see you guys this friday peace